What's going on guys? It's Dan here. Welcome to Dishonored uh, and the first official story-based DLC, The Knife of Dunwall, which follows, uh, shit, I literally was just looking into this. Du Duad? Dual? Shit, how did I, how do I forget something that I just saw two seconds ago? I can't remember, but basically it is your, the main... Basically, the, the man who assassinated the Empress at the at the start of the game. Spoiler alert. Uh, but yeah, you basically follow him uh, after he does so, and you know what 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 kind of like some a little mini events leading up to how you treat how you take care of him down the road. So uh, should be interesting to see how that plays out. Now, I have actually played this for a little bit. I sucked ass, so I kind of wanted to get some warm up going before I actually did anything. Kind of re re. Uh, Re refresh the controls and refresh the gameplay, you know, just so I, I can handle it a little better. So that way I can kind of spare you guys some grief and some crappy gameplay. So anyways, uh, before we get started though, guys, if I could just request to you once again for you to hit that like button on this video and the rest of the videos on this series, in this series, I should say, and uh, I'd be greatly appreciated. If we can make it to 500 or more likes, I'd be super happy. So if you guys can just, while you're here, stopping by. I mean, I know I, I at least get a few thousand views at least on, on my videos. So if every single one of you liked it, we'd be so far ahead. And we'd have live streaming. So let's get on that. Alright, so I'm just going to start fresh. I'll play on veteran difficulty, which is the normal. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to go in here. Like I said, I made a few mistakes in the first run through, but I didn't even record it for that reason. I, I just want to, normally what I do is go in blind, but this time around, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll just at least familiarize myself with this game because I have not played it uh, in like six months or something. It's been like, like since October 2012 is when this game came out, mid-October, so yeah. One more job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship, and the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she was. I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserved to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built. Wasn't really a very, it wasn't a very clean assassination, was it? For a pro. Alright, here we go, picking up. Yes, I know what it says. Just cruising through. La da dee 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 dee. The Outsider. Dowd, my old friend. Dowd, that's it. Long while. I just couldn't remember that you damn got name. My interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. Did you know that there are eight the fucks not given? Different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. Delilah? Rothwin Slaughterhouse. Delilah is what? 
Actually, I already know. I'm just fucking with you. Because <laughs> I played this far into it, obviously. So. I'm not going to say anything. I'll let you guys find out. Delilah is a dirty bitch. Actually, technically that's true. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Oh, an ally. Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk. In a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah. It hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse, and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. Sure. As Dowd, you can use your network of spies to corrupt merchants. Yes, I know about this. The favors. You guys can read that. Okay, so I'm, I went for... I didn't even bother with purchases. I probably should get a few of these. I have 5 out of 10 going. Uh, but I did this. I got accuracy increase. Rispo range. Rispo reload. Oh, no, no, no. And the capacity as well. There, and then, you know what, as a final, I'll buy some bolts. There we go. Cool. So I have seven of them. Alright, we're good. Because the wrist bow is pretty handy dandy, so. Dowd, you're here. What's I up, girl? Bored, so I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When a strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. One last thing. I found something for you. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. Thanks, girl. Appreciate it. Alright, so... She gave me a rune. Oops, crap. So I'm gonna... Use my powers. I was, I, I'm gonna get vitality, which is a health upgrade. So we're gonna do that. Thank you. Go on. Get off the property or we'll lock you up too. Oh fuck. Give me back my time I did not want to do that. In. You had no right to take it. Dude. Seriously right now? Try and get past me and I'll see you soon. Dude. Oh. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Go that was messed up. I missed it. Orders are to confiscate those cards. No exceptions. I hope you die weeping, all of you. I hope the plague catch you. I, 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 you know what? That man is justified. Making these people out of work. I gotta stay out of that guy's sight. <clears throat> Okay. Huh? <coughs> what? <clears throat> oh no, I want that. Open the damn thing. Oh, I could totally get his ass right now. Shit. Good night, sir. 
I'll just plop your ass right in here with the peas. Jesus, can you make any more mo more noise? Honestly. Okay. Holy crap, I don't want to make that much noise. Calm down. Hmm. Calm down, amigo. Calm down. We're all going to the same place. Attention. Under plague conditions, failure to report for work at industries deemed vital to state interests has been declared treasonous by the Lord Regent. Granny's recipe, a page torn from the old manuscript written in a scrawling hand. The port side eye of whale newly dead, plop it in the pot grizzly and red. Weeper, weeper, weeps no more, late to rest on blood edged floor. Do this for me, dearie, and I'll give you a birthday treat. Fuck you, Granny. You remember Granny? They used to tell stories about a woman in the slums who did work like this. Granny Rags. They said she was a hundred years old. I need a whale eye, apparently. Mm -hmm. That's not really a priority of mine, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Nothing. <laughs> You've had your fun, Butcher. When does the oil start to flow again? It doesn't. It's all fixed, Chief. You're hooped. We got the time guards rounded up, and now we got their melting So there's a couple ways we can do this. I'm going to take this way. Because that's just how I do. Okay, I need... Yoink. Okay, so I gotta do this very nice and quiet like. Huh? Oh shit. It's all good? It's all good. That. The alarm. Go. Fuck, man. I didn't want to do that. Okay, let's make myself scarce. Uh, you can pause. You can read that. It's about operating the crane. Oh my god, really? What bad timing. Get out of my life, bitch. Whoa, Nelly! <laughs> that sucked, man. I didn't want to waste all my shit like that, but I ended up doing it. Like, really, that sucked. That's all I had to do. I just wanted to take out the one guy, but it wasn't close enough. And as soon as I oh shit! And as soon as I missed, buddy had a Ricky Spaz. That's okay. We didn't make it. End of the slaughterhouse at five. <laughs> now I could have also found a time card, and because you need a time card to stamp yourself into the slaughterhouse, like to gain access, you need a worker's time card, which have all been confiscated. Comp confiscated, I said. Comp. Confiscated. Jeez, like, I'm like, what am I trying to say? <laughs> What's the word? The bird is the word. Got a stubborn reputation. Yes, he does. I doubt asking nicely is going Oops. to work. My bad. I don't want to do that. We'll have to find a more persuasive. Okay, thanks. Means of getting what you want. Watch out. 
He's probably close to his office. Thanks. Right. This part is pretty sketchazoid, okay? Nicely done. This is the complete bonus way, people, right here. <laughs> okay. Now, I might as well start this thing immediately. What a sad song the old behemoth sings. It looks right at me when I sit here to have my. You guys can read that. I've already read all these. Same deal, you can just pause it to read it. Yeah, look at me. A fly next to you, but I'm your master, ain't I? Kill the hundred of your kind, and I'll kill a thousand more before I'm done. Drain you, then feed you to my butchers. The mournful cries of the whales don't touch that lot. No, sir. They don't have hearts, I think. But by the outsider, I think I still have a small one. Shriveled and blackened as it may be. Yes, sing me a lullaby while I have another drink. Sing. That guy's messed up, bro. That is the, uh, what's your call it? I can't remember his name, but we're going for his ass. Does he know by now? Huh? Ramsey? Can read this if you guys want. I'll go nice and easy. There you go. I don't even want it. I don't even care. This is about fair pay and safe conditions. Don't bother. This guy's done. Not the first of his moles I've caught. What happened, Abigail? I trusted you. Extra elixir. <laughs> you? Oh, place, place him in the interior. breathing. I assume that's on purpose. Yeah, it was. Uh, tell you what, I'll talk. Well, Dowd. To her. What do you want with me? I'm not here for you. I'm here to learn about a ship called the Delilah. Did the Lord Regent send you? That old fool, Hiram Burroughs. I know all about the Delilah, all of it. And I can give you exactly what you want. Please do. Not so fast. I need something from you in exchange. Yeah, of course. That's what I thought. What? We're both professionals, Mr. Dowd. I was hired to get these gutless workers striking, which I did very nicely. And then destroy the slaughterhouse itself. That's where I got caught. And that's where I need your help. How? The whale oil in those tanks out there is enough to destroy this entire place. <coughs> important industrial bits, especially. Just open all the valves at once to let the oil start flowing. The pressure will go out of control and... Boom. What about the people inside? Growing a conscience? The factory workers are already out. My boss will hire them on, in better conditions than they'd ever see here. Not the butchers, though. They can die screaming for all I care. Don't try and con me. Wouldn't dream of it. Here's the key. Don't get caught. You take care of the slaughterhouse, and I'll tell you everything I know about the Delilah. You know, I could put you in Rothwild's interrogation chair myself. Why should I bargain with you? Because it's a long and messy solution. And I'm gambling you're not the kind of man who likes that. Make a deal with me, and I can tell you what you want, and pay you for your trouble. I'll consider it. All right, so I feel like I want to pick his ass up. The it's Empress should have hired you to protect her. We'd be living in a different world now. I gotta get to the interrogation point, which isn't as easy as you may think, people. Oh, yeah, this is this. Whoops. Complete <laughs> report for the month of nets. The Dauntless sailed north ten days to no result. Where it is. 
as she restocked at Driscoll to pursue a large pod east of Morley. The Delilah's coming back fully loaded. No reports of lights or singing. Another sign the barristers lost it. The Huntress is in dry dock after a nighttime ramming off Pandisia. Engineers looked at the damage. They say it wasn't a whale. Whatever it was, it was a very odd-looking one. Anyway, sorry. Just sending a text. There we go. Let's pick his ass back up. His snoring isn't going to give me away. I gotta get down there. Oh, wait a minute. No, hold on. So I got those butchers running around. And I have this guy on my back. So this should be interesting. Anyway, I'm not reading that whole excerpt. I'm gonna put him down here. I would like to take that asshole out, to be honest. Like, shouldn't these bitches be... Oh, I didn't even see that asshole there. <laughs> I can also just kill him if I want, but I'd rather try this. Doctors are just about done. We'll settle up with the watch next. But your boys win. I oh wait, I don't have any. I used them all up. Mm. Damn it. It's gonna be tougher than I thought. <clears throat> so he took a bit of a walk. All right, let's try going a different way. I'll have to come back for him. And yes, that is a whale. And it's alive, but barely. As you can see, it's dying slowly. Okay. There's a couple ways I can go in here. I don't think I want this one. I'm going to take the underground here. I'll have to come back for Rothschild. Although with the way this, I'm sure this ends, I don't think Rothschild would be alive anyway. That is just nasty, dude. You gotta do what you gotta do, though. Okay, that's a big ass catfish. Oh no. 
I okay this is one way to get out now I know this is one of the exits good to know so that means shit man They're not moving, of course not. Okay, hold on. Let me see powers. Wasn't there one? Huh. Okay, just trying to see if maybe I had... Like a cloaking device. Those fucking assholes are not moving. Why not? Great. Look at that, they're not even going on patrol, man. That's supposed to happen? They're gonna see me, man. What's that? Assassin! Help! Oh shit! What have I done? That's it. Good luck doing stealth on this fucking level, man. Have fun with it, really. I had a similar issue. I'm dead. Thanks for coming by. I was hoping I could do the stealth, but I don't think it's happening. Don't let him get around you. Fuck, man. I was. I. They weren't moving. I got fucked over. Surprise, fool. Okay, that is where the chair is. So, what do those idiots want anyway? Oh, they think they don't get treated fairly because they can get fired for refusing to. Dangerous work. We're the ones that do the dirty stuff around here. Maybe we need to be organized. Well, here's the chair. I know what this is. A makeshift interrogation chair. Rothwild must be using it to coerce employees. Wait, too bad I didn't have them with me. I, the undersigned, agree to announce my association with any employee union to abstain from discussing such matters at any time and to promptly report any co-workers that encourage union views. I agree that all grievances will be taken up with Bound Bundry Roth Rothwild and his staff in an open and fair manner. Gerald Harper, Richard Moser, J.A. Manderley, Sylvia Proctor, Lawrence Spinner, and Maddie Cranston. They all signed it.